Okay, so I quickly want to discuss something with you that I think makes a really nice breakfast. So meal one of the day, I hate the word breakfast, lunch and dinner. But let's refer to it as meal one for the day when you're hungry and you need something quick and easy. Um, is chia seeds. Okay, so I make a really, really nice chia seed pudding. This is the one that I use, organic chia seeds. And it's really, really nice. Now, if you look at it, it's basically very rich in omega-3s, which is very good for you. Calcium, fiber. Uh, it's got a good amount of protein in it, not massive amounts, but it's got a good amount of protein in there as well. Um, and it's got its fiber in, so a lot of people struggle with fiber intake, that's in there as well. And then of course it's got good quality fat, again it's not a huge amount, a small amount, but it's also not very high in carbohydrates. So if you do have this, it will help you stay full for a little bit longer and actually two dessert spoons of this go a long way you really do feel the benefits of it. It tastes really nice and the texture I really like. It's lovely, a lot of people make it with milk sometimes, some double cream in there as well. Again, small amounts. And then I do add in some seeds. So I've got mixed seeds here, as you can see on there, um, a whole tub of mixed seeds. And again, you need to know how much of this stuff to use. You can't just throw in loads of seeds and think nothing's gonna happen. You overeat on certain things, your body will start storing as fat. And then I also use raspberries for this. Um, these are tiny, tiny raspberries, one of the best ones I've ever bought, but yeah, there you go. So, little raspberries, very good. So, there's a lot of antioxidants here that I use. Um, it's All of these things are pretty much anti-inflammatory. And then it's also shown that chia seeds may improve certain blood markers. I'm taking this off uh, kind of doctor's side, the health side. And they're saying that it also helps with uh, the risk of heart disease, lowering the risk of heart disease, of course and then also to improve your type 2 diabetes. So that's all good. I know I have a lot of clients with type 2 diabetes that's been following this type of thing and they, they've definitely improved massively. So uh, that's from them, that's from these guys as well. You can see that people are gradually stepping over trying to get rid of their sugar intake and things like that. So be very careful with your cereal, cereals in the morning. A lot of it's so full of sugar and you just end up storing loads of body fat. And that's why some people just, and they never feel full, they struggle and it's a continuous struggle to lose body fat. It's not actually that hard if you do the right type of food intake. But you need to know how much of this stuff to take. You can't just eat loads of it and think that nothing's gonna happen, loads of seeds and loads of honey and stuff like that. Everything within moderation, but certain things you need to take a little bit more in order to get that health benefit benefit from it. So um, yeah, so if you've got that in the morning, you're listening to this, um, again, make yourself a little bit of the chia seed pudding. If you would like more information, and if you'd like to see how I cook this stuff, how I make it, I've got all of these videos on my private pages. Uh, people do subscribe to my pages, and of course, they do pay a fee to become a member. But there's all of these things where I show how to make it. I show you the behind the scenes things about how much should you have of whatever, what should you take in, and you will definitely improve your health. I mean, my clients are looking better, they're looking younger, they're fitter, their energy levels are up. I've got so many runners. Go through Facebook and watch the people that's under me where they're running and their food. They are improving loads, absolutely loads. And all I've done is just improve their food intake. That's all I've done. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of benefits from it. So if you need any advice, if you need any info information and you're struggling, let me know. Um, contact me at jacquesflex at hotmail.com. I'll put my info on there for you as well. Or contact me on Facebook. Jacques Engelbrecht and I will get back to you and I will try and help you. So be good, eat right, get the right results and at the end of the day you'll feel better and you will function better. Remember that's what it's all about, is functioning better and feeling good. So have a great day when you listen to this and uh, hopefully maybe hear from you soon. Bye.